when she moved back in the house. I told Lindsay that you gotta prove yourself. There were some guidelines that she had to follow. She has to be 100% sober. I will do a surprise search of her belongings, her purse, coat, Lindsay's phone, whatever it may be, because she needs to understand that she can't be hiding anything. Lindsay cannot even drink alcohol in this house. My guard is up more than ever, but I refuse to give up on my wife because she is the love of my life. Well, Chad's mother, Molly, and sister, Megan, say that his wife, Lindsay, is a real danger to his son, and they cannot believe that he is choosing his lying, drug-addicted wife over the safety of his little boy. Take a look. I am a recovering drug addict. I am currently six months sober. I am proud of myself, but my husband's whole family doesn't give me that support that I need to fully recover from heroin. When I say it's a disease, they don't want to hear it. They're like, no, it's not. It's a choice. They are constantly criticizing me, judging me. They don't understand what I'm going through at all. No. I didn't want to keep my addiction a secret from Chad. He accepted me at that point, and he said, I will be here to help you. I've admitted that I have made mistakes, and I have owned that. When I was three months pregnant, I relapsed. I overdosed, yes. It's such a selfish thing to do. The day of the car accident, I definitely was having a mental breakdown. My addiction took over, and I shut up. As I was driving home, there was an accident. My eight-month-old son, he was in the back seat. Did you cause the accident? I'm on the fence about it. Whatever happened with our situation, they just pinned it on me because they found drugs. After I was released from jail, I realized relapse is not an option for me anymore. My son needs me and immediately checked myself into a 30-day treatment center. I completed 90 meetings in 90 days. Chad's family has never acknowledged my sobriety. They just bring up all the nasty things I've done. Is she doing drugs now? Not that I know of. What explains her condition in these interviews? I have no idea. All I know is that she does get medication for other things, whether it be anxiety. That's what she's claiming. What do you think she hopes to get from being here? I know she wants to get better. She wants well, to... Well, if she's six months sober, what is it she needs to change? She needs to be a better person, first and foremost. Be a better wife, be a better mother. She needs, she's, needs, she's, she's got her work cut out for her. You said she's hanging out with not so good of people? I've always said that. I've always but said what's that. What's wrong with these people? She thinks that they're friends and you can, I, I can smell a bad person from a mile away. And she's yeah. getting ready to come out here and we're gonna talk to her. And you have to decide whether being straight with her and holding her feet to the fire and getting to the truth is betraying her or helping her? I want to know where you stand before she comes out here. I don't think she's, that doesn't look like she's sober right now. 